So Robin has seen it all. He is the longest serving minister in the Gaston Brown cabinet. Under his experience to watch, was placed the responsibility of resolving a crisis that the government met when it came to power. There were massive complaints across the length and breadth of this country about the paucity of portable water. It was only made worse as drought conditions prolonged. The Utilities Minister is no stranger to the issues and knows the facts. He's been there even as far back as 1972, which might have been the opposition's first failed attempts to address the problems. In 1972, Quabs Baker UPP brought uh, a steam plant to make water in 1972 and it could not even make the one million gallons a day. They closed it down in 1973. So less than a year, what they paid money for couldn't work, shut down. That was a baker station at Quabs. Then you have Quabs Tango. Many of us would remember, I'm sure you remember Tango. We bought a dual plant, water and electricity. And that plant used to give two million imperial gallons per day. And in June 2007, when they had power, they closed it down. It should have never gotten this bad, but it got worse after 2004. The infrastructure that took years to build and bring in relief to a drought-stricken country was left to deteriorate. Far worse, the government, when it came to office, let a stockpile of delinquent bills owed to NSERV. They owed NSERV $21 million. And when this was reported to our Prime Minister, we put everything we had together with the assistance of the Prime Minister and we bought out NSERV. Uh, for $21 million. You see the plants are still working up there. We just finished repairing them, not all at one time, because we need water. We put new membranes in them, etc. It has taken a while, but a major plank of the opposition's campaign is now severely compromised. No longer can it realistically claim that the water situation is an election issue with the major improvements in supply to households and businesses across Antigua achieved. Millions and millions have been invested in erecting water osmosis plants across the island, bringing well-needed relief to every resident. And then we have also paid money for a brand new plant to be situated placed at Bethesda Bay, and that is for 3.2 million gallons. So the Labour Party had made preparation for the future. But with all these plants that we have bought, we are not going to be able to use all the water coming from them. But as the population grows, they will be brought into action. You remember that the UPP had said you can do it one shower a week, one shower a week, but we are not saying that. Eh? Bethesda will shortly get a new plant that will bring a dependable supply of water to residents in the east. The ambition of providing homes with 24-hour supply of water is no longer a mere promise, but a realistic possibility. But it comes at a cost, and one that the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party government is not only willing, but committed to pay. The investment is indeed significant, 
but one that is being totally absorbed by the government. Millions. Every plant that you see around here is an expensive thing. Eh? Okay, memory that you have to, and pumps most of it. But that's what we're doing. We 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 have uh, parts for them. We try to keep spares as we're doing some change, some servicing to our plants right now. We have the parts in, and we have some more parts are coming to place that in case anything happens, we are making sure that we are ready to assist our people. They are our people and we don't have no color bar because labor built it. So everybody would have a benefit of what the Labour Party is doing. And look at uh, what a good Prime Minister that we have. He hasn't raised the price of water. With one of the most pressing issues on his plate, Sir Robin has somehow managed to not allow this to distract from the needs of his beloved constituents. Infrastructure continues to improve throughout the length and breadth of St. Philip's North, and the health, educational and social needs of the constituency are being given the attention they genuinely deserve.